Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. We climb down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree. Hugging and kissing just you and me. Southern Country Living, and I um, hope everyone is having a great day today. It's a little uh, cloudy here, and we're fixing to get some bad weather in, so I hope I can get my recipe made before um, all of that takes place. But anyway, uh, I'm doing a recipe out of my Southern Living cookbook that about a year ago one of our uh, viewers sent us. Her channel name is Lisa um, Paradise, and i um, I think that there's going to be a lot of good cakes out of here that I can make. I just really wanted to try this one right here uh, for a long time, but I just hadn't really tackled it yet. So today is the day. <laughs> so let me get started on this easy cake, not so easy cake. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in three sticks of butter. Soften butter. sugar and a little more sugar This is three cups of sugar I'm adding, and this recipe will be in the description below. Okay. Just let this rest a little bit and scrape down my sides. again. Okay, that looks good and fluffy. So now then I'm going to add one egg and I have five eggs in here. I'm going to add them one at a time. Okay, 
Now then, I'm going to be putting in a half a cup of pineapple juice and um, a half a cup of 7-Up. sugar mixed up and so this right here is um, three cups of cake flour and this here is uh, a half a cup of pineapple juice and a half a cup of 7-Up so I'm going to alternately put in my cake flour and my liquid mixture Scrape down my sides. Okay. Now that I'm going to add the last of my cake flour. Last of my pineapple and seven up. stir it in. And I can smell that vanilla and the lemon extract. It smells great. <laughs> okay. 
Now then, let's see. I'm going to bring my cake pan stones and I'll clean up just a tad. Bring my, this is going to be a three layer one. <laughs> And I used a baker's joy uh, to spray my pants with, and I have parchment paper on the bottom. Pretty even. Okay. So okay. I'm going to put this in a 350 degrees oven and let it cook for approximately 30 minutes. And when they're done, I'll be back. Okay, my uh, cake layers just came out of the oven. And so while these are cooling, I'm going to be making the uh, pineapple filling. Now I'm going to be making the pineapple filling for my uh, cake. So I'm going to be putting in two cups of sugar. One fourth cup of corn starch. I'm going to stir this together. Now, then, I'm going to be putting in uh, one cup of water. turn my eye on low and let this um, cook for 15 minutes, uh, stirring it occasionally. Okay, my pineapple filling has been cooking for 15 minutes and it's become thick. So I'm going to turn off my timer and let it cook until I get my icing made. My cakes are over there cooling, and also my pineapple filling is cooling, so now I'm going to make my uh, cream cheese frosting. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a stick of butter in, and this is uh, not margarine, it's butter. Okay, and then I'm going to put my cream cheese in. This is four ounces. So I'm going to cream this together.
and get a couple of paper towels to lay that in. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add in my powdered sugar a little at a time. I'm going to add a little bit of my pineapple juice. And I'm going to put all of my vanilla flavoring in. I'm going to scrape the bow down again. That's just about right right there. Swipe it down. Okay, that's just right on the thickness. So I'm gonna give it a little taste and see how I like the icing. really good icing. <laughs> okay, I finished my icing and my cakes are over here cooling and my filling is cooling and so um, when uh, they get through cooling I'll be back to decorate it. All right, my pineapple filling has cooled so I'm going to put it in the middle of my cake. This is about two-thirds going to bring it on um, to the sides to about one inch if it looks dark in here it's because uh, it's stormy here today Okay. 
So yeah, I'm going to put two thirds more on. So now I'm going to put on the third layer. Okay, now I'm going to put the eye center around the sides. Okay, now I'm going to pack the edge around the top. Okay. I just got through piping my icing out. So now I'm going to put on uh, the rest of my pineapple filling. The next step I'm going to do is put my icing around the sides, I mean my coconut around the sides. Okay, I just finished uh, icing my cake and I've got a little bit of mess here to clean up. <laughs> but it's really been storming here today while I've been doing this cake. <laughs> but I think it turned out uh, really nice. And I'll do the taste test as soon as I get through uh, cleaning up. Okay, I just finished my cake and I tried to make it look uh, as close to the picture as I could and I didn't have any um, mint sprigs, but anyway, I think it looks almost like it anyway. Okay.
Okay, I just cut my uh, cake and I think it looks really good and I can't wait to taste it. Let me get it off of my pie server. Okay. Okay, I'm fixing to do my uh, favorite part, the taste test, and uh, I really enjoyed making this cake today. I think that it it's pretty close to this one. <laughs> it was the best I could do. <laughs> so anyway, here goes the taste test. Let's see, I think I'll start right here. Mmm. That is really delicious. Okay, now I'm going to take a bite of over here where the icing is. Mmm. That is really delicious. This cake right here, it was an award-winning cake. And it beat out over 500 other uh, desserts. <laughs> but I can see why. It was really good. And so, we're in the middle of an electric storm right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna close this video. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.